Hey everybody, I'm John, your carnivore teacher, and today I'm exposing something that's messing with your hormones, damaging your fertility, wrecking your metabolism, and silently sabotaging your health. They're called endocrine disruptors, and they've crept into nearly every part of our modern lives. We're talking about compounds from plants, plastics, perfumes, packaging, even so-called health foods, and register tape. And if you don't know what they are or how to avoid them, you're at their mercy. So let's break it down. What are endocrine disruptors? Your endocrine system is your hormone command center. It controls your energy, sleep, your mood, your growth, your metabolism, reproduction, and so much more. Endocrine disruptors are chemicals that mimic block and interfere with your natural hormones, especially estrogen, testosterone, insulin, and thyroid hormones. They can cause hormonal imbalance, lower sperm count, disrupt ovulation, promote fat storage, affect puberty timing, contribute to infertility, PCOS, thyroid dysfunction, and even cancer. And they don't always cause immediate symptoms, they build up over time, slowly, stealthily, until your body is out of whack and you don't know why. So plant-based endocrine disruptors, let's talk about those first, phytoestrogens and antiandrogens. Here's where most people miss it. Endocrine disruptors aren't just synthetic, they are in plants too. Some plant compounds, especially phytoestrogens, act like fake estrogen in the body. You'll find them in soy and soy protein. They're loaded with isoflavins, flax seeds, sesame seeds, hops in beer, licorice root, legumes. These compounds bind to estrogen receptors, disrupting natural hormone signaling, especially in men, children, and postmenopausal women. In men, phytoestrogens can reduce testosterone, lower sperm quality, and feminize features. In women, they can worsen estrogen dominance, PMS, and fertility issues. Then when you've got goitrogens, plant compounds that suppress thyroid function, found in cruciferous vegetables like kale and broccoli and cabbage, especially when raw. If your hormones are already struggling, these foods aren't helping. There's synthetic endocrine disruptors as well, plastics, chemicals, and everyday products. Let's move into the synthetic ones now, the ones that are man-made and unregulated in most cases. Here's the hit list. BPA stands for bisphenol A. It's found in water bottles, food cans, register tape, phthalates, found in personal care products and fragrances and vinyl, parabens found in lotions and shampoos and cosmetics, triclosan found in antibacterial soaps, PFOAs and PFAS, these are forever chemicals, you've heard of those, right? Found in non-stick pans, fast food wrappers, and firefighting foam. These compounds mimic estrogen, block androgens, interfere with thyroid, and wreak havoc on fetal development and puberty. And the worst part, they're in your home, your food, your car, your shower, your clothes. Most people are exposed daily without even realizing it. So what do we do about it? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about solutions. Because once you know what to look for, you can take your power back. Number one, eliminate seed oils and plant-based junk. Cut out soy flax, and seed-based health foods. Eat animal-based. Eat clean. Number two, ditch plastic wherever you can. Use glass, stainless steel, or ceramic for food and drink. Never microwave in plastic, ever. Go fragrance three, number three, and non-toxic in your home. Switch to clean deodorants, soaps, detergents, skin care without parabens, phthalates, and synthetic fragrances. Number four, filter your water. Tap water can contain pesticides, PFAS, and endocrine-disrupting residues. 
use a quality water filter. I have a reverse osmosis filter that I had installed under my sink for all the water I digest. Eat to support detox. Fat and cholesterol from animal foods support healthy hormone production. Support your liver, your gut, and your detox pathways. And most importantly, educate yourself and your family. The toxic load starts early and it adds up over time. Number five, let me share my experience. I used to use all the scented stuff. I cooked with plastics. I didn't even think about soy or flax, just figured it was healthy. But once I learned what these chemicals were doing to my hormones, my metabolism, and my long-term health, I cleaned house. I did. Going carnivore was a huge piece of it. Real food, animal fat, no plant estrogens, no toxic oils, and I started detoxing my environment, my cookware, grooming, water, all of it even my clothes. You don't have to be perfect, but start somewhere. Because if you don't defend your hormones, no one else will. So if you've been struggling with fatigue, weight gain, low libido, anxiety, fertility issues, or hormone imbalances, don't just blame age. Look around. Look at your food, your products, your habits. Endocrine disruptors are everywhere, folks but they don't have to be in your body. If this opened your eyes, give it a like, share it with someone you care about, and drop me a comment or a question, and I will get back to you with experience and questions. I read every one, and I respond to every one. I'm John, your carnivore teacher. Eat clean, live clean, protect your hormones, and I'll see you next time.